The Lugogo Cricket Oval in Uganda is set to host the second installment of the Victoria Series, a highly anticipated T20 international tournament that will run from April 16th to the 23rd. The competition will feature five nations vying for the title, with the United Arab Emirates making its debut in Uganda. Four nations, Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda and the UAE, are currently in the country to participate in the T20 international rank tournament. Of these teams, the UAE is the top-ranked team in the T20 global rankings and will have an opportunity to earn points and remain on top or risk dropping points if defeated by the low-ranked opponents. Starting from April 18th, the Victoria Series will kick off with two matches scheduled per day until April 22nd, culminating in the final match on April 23rd. The tournament will employ a round-robin format where each team will play twice against the other. The top two teams from the round-robin phase will advance to the final to determine the ultimate champion. The UAE is tipped as the favorite team to win the Victoria Series, and during a captain's press conference held today in Kampala, their captain, Chair Mual, said the team came with a winner's mentality, as they do with the other tournaments. Every time we go out to play a tournament, our aim is to obviously win, like any other team. So our aim is very clear. We are here to win and uh, you know, just to show what we are capable of. Girls have a lot of potential and we just want to play our best cricket. However, the other participating teams are also preparing to compete fiercely and pose a challenge the UAE's dominance. Uh, in terms of training, yeah, we've trained our best. Unfortunately, uh, the weather conditions in Kenya were not favorable to us because of the rains. But we did what we could do with the time that we had and what we had. So we are positive and we're hoping to play well. Uh, as I said, yes, we, we went there, we played, we didn't get the good result. But that will not affect us because this is a different teams. We are going to meet different, like, different experience. That one like helped us to sharpen up what we we wasn't like good at in Nigeria. We got time even though it was few after the Nigeria series. We we got like few trainings. So that's what helped us to prepare for this one. Uh, the fixtures uh, we couldn't dictate the fixtures they were given to us. But if it were for my opinion, I think I'd still go with Rwanda because it helps you to pick up the momentum of the tournament. So starting with a hard team or a highly ranked team isn't bad, but uh, you know everyone has that foundation. If you start with a team that is slightly not too challenging for you, it gives you the tempo of the tournament. So I believe I would still start with the same. The team's star player is Janet Mbavazi, who was named Female Cricketer of the Year for 2022 by Wuspa. In addition to Mbavazi, the team also has the experienced duo of Immaculate Nakisui and Stephanie Nampina, providing excellent support. According to a fixture released this morning, the first match will feature the UAE taking on Kenya in the morning, followed by Uganda versus Rwanda in the afternoon. The following days will see Tanzania playing against UAE, Kenya against Rwanda and Uganda versus UAE respectively. On April 22nd, the hosts will play Kenya in the morning, followed by Rwanda taking on Tanzania in the afternoon. And the final between the top two will happen on the 23rd of April. The Victoria Series is anticipated to be a thrilling competition, with each of the five countries striving to establish themselves and emerge as the victors. The local cricket community will keep a close eye on the tournament as the teams fight it out for the championship. Ali Sharan Kiranda, live at 8.